Hey, it's Ken Gaddy with the YouTube channel Game Bits here to show you how to defeat a Lionel in The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild for the Nintendo Switch. They are the centaur creatures that you see right there. That's a blue-maned one. has about 3,000 hit points. White-maned ones have 4,000. They are some of the most powerful enemies in the game. I don't want him to spot me until I'm done explaining how we're going to go about defeating it. First off, I have some pretty good armor equipped, as you can see here. I have my soldier's helm armor and greaves equipped they are the best defense i have right now i'm somewhat tempted to instead equip however the barbarian armor which gives me an attack up at the cost of less defense what i'm going to do instead is i've prepared some food some meals from mighty ingredients especially mighty bananas are very helpful which you can find in the farin region this particular recipe though is composed of mighty carp mighty porgy and razor claw crab along some hyrule bass and hyrule herb it will give me back 13 hearts and three and a half minutes of triple attack strength. Speaking of attack, it's very important to have the right weapon equipped. I'm going to go with a golden claymore. There are more powerful weapons, and it doesn't matter what weapon you use as long as it's capable of a spinning attack like this when you're holding down the attack button. You can test if a weapon will do that simply by holding down the Y button, and if it starts to charge like this, just push B to cancel. That's not the weapon you want. So I'm going to go with the Golden Claymore. I wish I had more weapons than just that, because this one's certainly going to break. I'm also going to go with my Stasis Plus, which I need to have upgraded. If you have all those things ready, then you stand a good chance of defeating the Lionel. Any sort of Divine Beast gifts you want to have, some blessings. I have Mipha's Touch and Daruk's Shield. Those both help, but any more will also help. There are some that are Rage equipped. So I'm going to freeze this guy so he doesn't get a shot off at me with his arrow. And anytime you hit a Lionel... It disrupts their current attack pattern. Here's what I'm going to do. Start spinning around. Oh, I forgot to eat my bananas. My meal. That gives me my attack up. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, whoosh, do that. And keep that spinning attack going. I blew it. Oh, now he's going to run away from me. And get out of that way. If you have stasis, you can freeze him. Oh, he's right behind me. Stop time. Stop time. He's going to come right at me. This is where you stop time. Like that. And just hit him once. That disrupts his charge. And then you start spinning. You go right around him like this. Just keep getting those hits in. And he won't know what to do. Just keep doing that. The more stamina you have, the more attacks you can get in. And now he's going to breathe fire, which means I've done a good amount of damage. You can just wait until he runs out of breath by running around him. And uh, go ahead and freeze him if he starts to charge you again. Oh, I missed. But it didn't do that much damage. Oh, crap. There we go. Whew. So this stop time is working better on this guy than it did on the white guy I thought. Oh, now see my claymore broke, and this is bad because I don't have another good weapon like that. I have Lionel swords, so this guy I have to attack him with his own weapon like that. More Breath of the Fire. Uh, I wish I had more of those spinny swords, but I don't. Oh, should have been wearing some fireproof armor, and I wasn't. All right. Whew, see? There was a, a hot-footed frog right there. But look at how many hits I can get in while he's frozen. It's great. Oh, he's going down. I think he knows it, too. Huh. This guy's not proving so bad as far as Lionel's go. I have not had to dodge any of his attacks, but certainly that strategy also comes in handy. Oh. Broke. It broke the same time he did. How about that? And down he goes. Now why am I killing Lionels? It's because they have Lionel hooves and Lionel horns that are necessary for upgrading my barbarian armor. And also, in my experience, every Lionel has a weapon that no other Lionel has. It's a unique weapon. The mighty Lionel spear, as far as I know, can only be gotten by defeating that particular Lionel. He's the one in the southern Grinden Plains. So I got the mighty Lionel spear, which is great. Now that we've mastered the basic strategy, let's add an additional attack pattern or two in our fight against this here white Lionel. That's right, any moment now he's going to see me coming up at him, but he has no idea of the smackdown I'm about to lay down. He is going down and hard. All right, yeah, now you see me. You getting ready for battle? You going to roar at me? Well, you going to yell, get a little bit angry? Oh, when they yell, run away, because that means they're about to explode. But we can use that to our advantage because fire creates an updraft, which we can use to pull out our bow and get a whole bunch of hits in pretty much for free. 
Careful, though. Sometimes he pulls out his bow, because that's the only way he can hit you when you're up high. But headshots make the Lionel fall down, and you can mount him and get some free hits in at that moment. Up to five free hits with your weapon of choice. Just be careful, because, uh... Oh. Yeah! Your, uh... Ooh, flurry attacks. You gotta rely on those as much as possible. Uh-oh. There's another one. Oh, Mr. Lionel, you're terrible at this. You can't touch me whatsoever. This is not horseshoes. Oh, okay, you hit me. That wasn't great. Oh, uh, but now you're going to breathe fire, which you would think might be a bad thing, except fire creates updrafts, which means free headshots. Yeah, there's one. There's two. Oh, look at him reeling from these shots. I'm going to leave myself a little bit of stamina. So that when I mount you, I can get some more hits in. One, two, three, four, five, and I'm off. Why don't I just freeze you like this? For the good night. Oh, yeah. Oh, run away. Can't do anything about that. Except maybe take advantage of the updraft? Yeah. Probably could have gotten some more air time off that. But I'm happy with this. Because he's going down again, and I can mount him and get five more hits in. One, two, three, four, five! Yeah! Why not just freeze him while we're here and get some more hits in? Oh, no weapons are break. Let's switch to the Master Sword. Not that it's designed for this kind of attack, but... Uh, where is my Master Sword? Oh, it's unavailable. I used it for something else. Alright, let's just go through some shock therapy. That's good on zebras, right? Oh, he broke my shield and broke through my shield. It's not every day a shield actually breaks. Oh, there's another yelly. He gets so mad. Oh, I should have backed up just a little bit more. Oh, boy. I lost sight of him for a second there. That's dangerous. Yeah! Come on, you're going down. I would love to mount you one more time, but that's probably not going to happen. Because you're dead! Ha! How do you like that? Yeah! Oh, look at that massive shield. Can't wait to claim that for my own. Nice. Whew! Okay, you've seen just about everything you need to do to defeat a Lionel. You can do the spinning attack around him. You can get up in the air when the fire is burning. You can do headshots to make him kneel down so you can mount him and get five free hits in. I was not using any sort of strength elixirs there, and I still defeated him. But of course, I did use Mifo's Touch. Don't think I used Daruk's Shield, although it certainly would have come in handy if I'd had it. And I did use regular shields, of course. So, that is everything you need to know to defeat a Lionel. You have all the strategies that I have taught you, so please go forward and enjoy committing Lionel Genocide.